Welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. Again, let's try to make this quick before the air conditioner comes on. As you guys saw in a previous video, I stumbled across a GameCube in a yard sale and got it up and running, and I thought it'd be some good content for the show, fixing it and that kind of stuff. It didn't need to fix it. It just needed a good clean. And uh, we ended up giving one away, which is a ton of fun. And then I thought I'd uh, again to add content for the show here. I decided to mod one with a mod chip and also HDMI out, which was awesome. And then I thought, well, it would be fun. Wouldn't it be fun to fix one? So I started looking around for broken ones online. And I also needed some controllers for the ones that I did have or the ones I planned to keep after the giveaway. And so what I found was in purchasing them, when you're looking for controllers, the, you can find some that are bundled with broken GameCubes. And so I bought a couple of uh, online auctions that said the GameCube either didn't read discs or had some sort of problem with it, uh, just to get the controllers really. But then I thought, oh, I'll fix the, uh, the GameCubes. But what I found was these things, they're built like tanks. Tanks, I tell you. And I, I just, I was having a really hard time finding one that was broken. And so I kept buying them. And then they just needed a cleaning or they you know, the cable needed some, some jiggling, like, et cetera, et cetera. So I said, Fuck it. I'm, I'm going, I'm going all out. I'm going to find an auction for honest to goodness, broken game cubes. And I stumbled across a couple of them and the cheapest ones, okay, cause I, I, I don't need to, like, I can't play, you can't like play four or eight or eight of these at the same time. So I don't really care about where it comes from. And so I started looking at the, the cheapest ones are coming from Japan. And so that's what all of these are. So, kept buying them and then I got kind of addicted to finding them and I thought like, like I you know I got a few and I thought well let me hedge my bets and like I, what I didn't want to have is like this guy coming in the mail and then it gets here and I get all you know I get the stuff set up for the channel to make a video and it still doesn't work like, like I, I could fake it I could like cut traces and stuff like that but that's no fun let's 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 find some genuine uh, failures to these things so I went out and bought a few of them what does a few look like All right, so that's what a few look like, and actually uh, a, f a few more, but we've, we're running out of space here. <laughs> now, clearly, some of these are in way worse condition than others. My goal is to give them all a quick clean, possibly a mod chip. I ordered like, you know, 20 some odd mod chips just because I, I think that make they're, they're all Japanese models. It, it ended up being way cheaper to buy all of these than like one decent GameCube with a couple accessories and that type of stuff. So th these things were cheap, cheap, cheap. So I, I could go and make, I could mod each one while I've got it open and cleaning it and put a little switch to make it Japanese or, or, or US. Um, I might do that with some of these, I don't know. And then I can definitely include the chip so that even if it's in US mode, somebody puts in a Japanese game, it'll still play it. So, you know, a game like one of these, which we'll we'll cover this in a, a future episode. All right, so clearly, if I'm gonna clean all these up and move them on to new happy homes, uh, I need to come up with a better cleaning method than just by hand. And my goal is to use the dishwasher. So let's pick some of the worst ones. This one's obviously not, not a good candidate for showing how clean the dishwasher can get one of these things, but uh, or will it survive the dishwasher kind of a thing. But uh, let's let's grab some of the dirtiest ones in the in the lot and pop these into the dishwasher and see how we get on. All right, so I've selected some of the worst. It's a mix of dirt and dust and God only knows what. Oh yeah, look at that. Be alive. 
All right, if you can't tell, um, please, please is punched with the, the, the dishwashing of all the plastic and stuff. And some of this turned out really, really well. Uh, you, you'll see here, like I, I didn't go through and polish anything. You, you could probably get a lot of these scratches out, but these these can't be washed out. They're, they're, these things are genuine scratches. They're really obvious in this purple one. Again, I, I grabbed the dirtiest ones I could find. Of course, some of the dirty ones also have scratches underneath the dirt. This one, or the silver one, actually, this, this, this is the nice silver one. I've got one that's way worse. It's like... And there goes the AC. All right, so uh, I've got one of these silver ones that's way worse, and a lot of the paint's missing. The silver one is the only one in the, the, the collection of GameCubes that I'm aware of that was actually painted. All the other ones are the, the color of the plastic. If you cut into this, as, as happened here, somebody tried to dig out the eject button with a screwdriver, and if you dig into it, it's just more purple. They clean up the nicest because, case in point with, with this one, once... Once you get the all the dirt off, you're just left with more plastic, and and even if you like you, you rub it with something that's maybe a little bit more aggressive and, and abrasive, you just reveal yet more plastic underneath it, fresh virgin plastic, and so some of these just they do well, and then the, the you know the um, the deepest scratches aren't as obvious on these lighter colors uh, again because underneath it is more of the same color, versus this one here, the silver one. As you see in some of, some of the gouges that it has, it's revealed its true color of the plastic and not this sexy, uh, sparkly but stuff. Uh, there's another good, the corners are usually a good telltale sign here. Focus, here we go. So that is the actual color poking through. So, so the worst one that I have of these is probably going to get painted in some kind of fun theme in the future. I don't, I don't know what it is uh, that we'll do. If you've got some suggestions for a theme, leave them down in the comments. Move this out of the way before I scratch it. So we did do a repair. Uh, it was pretty straightforward, so I didn't do a lot of detail uh, in in the video here about it. It's literally just swapping parts, but uh, this particular motor is like completely, well, not completely seized, but it's like full of sand and dirt. It was the worst one. It came out of this guy, which it, it, for all intents and purposes looked like it survived Fukushima. So uh, literally sand and water and stuff got in there. But again, it, like back to the, the, the engineering that went into these things, the circuit board was fine. Lots of the other components were fine. It was just this motor. And so I stole it from an, another game. It donated its motor uh you can see look at the, look at the oxidation on this thing oh yeah it was in a bad way this thing like maybe seaside this might have been like you know some, some outpost <laughs> near, you know, right, right near the ocean or something like that somebody uh, on guard duty for a uh, nuclear facility who knows swapped parts removed old and crusty stuff put in slightly less crusty stuff and it fires right up worked perfectly if you've enjoyed tagging along here in the shop as we tackle yet another project this one's sort of a, a manufactured project agreed uh no one needs this many game cubes jesus uh, but if you had fun make sure you subscribe so you can get more stuff like this when i post it in the future and apparently clicking the bell helps with that if you've got comments about how this is going to ruin the gamecube long term and i've done a horrible thing let me know down in the comments if you've done this yourself or you've got your own cleaning technique uh also feel free to share that with the the community i know a lot of folks are, are dipping back to the classic consoles like these classic is relative obviously but um i somewhere i think the classic line is going to be and for me delineation will be uh able to play it during zombie apocalypse not able to play during zombie apocalypse too much stuff is phoning home and talking to some server somewhere saying like hey is this legit does this person still have a subscription do they logged have they logged into like our online social media stuff uh, it, and then let them play the game when those servers go down when those companies go bankrupt you won't be able to play those games these things you can still get the disc and just you just pop it open drop that sucker in and you're off to the races let us not lose sight of that if you're a game developer please have some sort of offline mode i think you would be helping us all out again i hope you guys join me in the future for another one of julian's random projects thanks thanks for watching this video guys and this bubble ribbing is just Cool. <laughs> I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough over and out, over and out, over and out. Over and out.